In this lesson, we're going to be solving systems of linear equations using various methods. For this video, we're going to be solving using the graphing method. A system of equations is when you have two equations that have two variables, like x and y, and then your solution to the system is the ordered pair, the x and y coordinate that makes both equations true. So for example, in example one, we have an equation, 4x minus y equals negative 3, and another equation, 2x minus 3y equals 21. The solution uh, of those two equations are going to be the x and y, that if you were to plug them in, would make both of these equations true. Or also, if you were to graph the two lines, it would be the point of intersection of the two lines. When you're doing your graphs, you can have three possible solutions. If your two lines intersect, then your solution is the point where they intersect. So there you would give the xy coordinates where they intersect and you would have one solution. Now, if you have parallel lines, you have no solution because the lines never intersect. And if you have the same line where it's overlapping, like on top of each other, then you have infinite solutions because every point is actually intersecting with each other. Um, when we do these problems or steps for the graphing method or to write the equations in slope-intercept form, which is our y equals mx plus b. Once we have it in slope-intercept form, we can graph each equation. Once we graph them, we can look for the point of intersection of our two lines. Um, if they don't have a point of intersection, uh, like if they're parallel, then there's no solution. If it's the same line, when we rewrite our equations, then there's infinite solutions. So let's start by looking at the first equation, 4x minus y equals negative 3. And we're going to solve for y to write it in slope-intercept form. So my first step is to move my 4x to the other side. So I'm left with negative y equals. When I move the 4x, it becomes negative 4x. My next step after that would be to get y by itself. So right now, um, the y has an imaginary 1 in front of it. If I want to get it by itself, I would divide everything by a negative 1. So my equation becomes y equals negative 4 divided by negative 1 is positive 4. And negative 3 divided by negative 1 is positive 3. So my first equation becomes y equals 4x plus 3. And I can already graph that line, but I'm going to do it in a little bit. Um, my next equation is 2x minus 3y equals 21. I want to solve for y, so I'm going to start by moving 2x to the other side. So I have negative 3y equals, when I move 2x, it changes to negative 2x, and then we have our positive 21. My next step to get y by itself is to divide everything by that negative 3. So I have y equals, negative 2 divided by negative 3 becomes positive 2 thirds x, and 21 divided by negative 3 becomes a negative 7. So now that I have my two equations, even without graphing it, I can tell if I'm going to have one solution, no solution, or infinite solutions. Here, um, if you look at our equations, they have different slopes. So just because I see that they have different slopes, I know that my lines are eventually going to intersect and they'll have one solution. Remember, parallel lines have the same slope. So if the lines had parallel slopes, then there would be no solution. Now, if the lines ended up being the exact same equations, that means it would be the same line and there would be infinite solutions. But here, since we have two different equations with two different slopes, we know we're going to have one solution. So let's graph to see where that solution is at. So I'm going to graph my first equation, the one that I did in red. Um, there I'm going to begin at 3, because that's my y-intercept, and then my slope is 4, so I'm going to go up 4, right 1. So I begin at 3. And then I go up 4, right 1. The opposite would be to go down 4, left 1. Now I'm going to do my blue line. This one has a y-intercept of negative 7. And my slope's 2 thirds, so I'm going to go up 2, right 3 up 2, right 3. The opposite would be to go down 2, left 3. So 
So here we see that our two lines intersect and the point of intersection is going to be our solution. So here these intersect at negative 3, negative 9. So our solution is negative 3, negative 9. This one has one solution.